Okay, I'm back at you with another round of our core rebuilding 10 minute videos. So it's just two minutes of work, five exercises, short and sweet. Let's get into it. So coming down onto the mat, and just come down on the side, that's the safest way. And you're gonna have hands just relaxed down by your side. Here we go. So driving through the left heel, I'm going to start to lift my right heel up until the leg is reaches a 90 degree angle. Inhale as that leg comes back down and then drive through my right heel, lifting my left leg up until the 90 degree angle. Inhale, coming back down. So keep flowing through that, switching from side to side. Think about having your chin tucked, shoulders are down and back ribs are closing down towards your hips to support your spine t-zone super tight get those fingers on the inside of your hip and check are they still on keep them there really good to start building that mind muscle connection and you can use your own palpations to do that so fighting through the t-zone push through the heel and then lift the foot as the legs coming back down really make sure that the ribs are closing down towards the hips just to prevent any arching in your back you want to have a nice neutral spine here nice and easy keep checking on that t-zone Inhale, T-zone. Exhale, glide the ribs down towards the hips. Closing them down. Tightening that corset. Whichever imagery helps you to achieve that one. Just a few more. Okay. Imprint your spine so that you use those lower core muscles, press down towards the mat one at a time, bringing your knees up into tabletop. And we are going to do toe taps from here. So, chin tuck, shoulders down the back, T zone is tight, hands relaxed down by the side. And then we've got our legs at hip distance apart. And as you exhale, one foot is going to tap down. Once it reaches the floor, you inhale bring it back up. Reset that T-zone. Exhale. Touches the floor. Inhale. Bring it back up. Tighten that T-zone. As you exhale and allow the foot to come down, really think about gliding the ribs down towards the hips. Inhale. Come back up. Tighten that T-zone. Exhale. Glide. Inhale, tight through the T-zone, bring that leg up. Just keep switching from side to side. Make sure that all of the tension, all the work is being done in the abs. There's absolutely no stress in your chest, in your shoulders, in your face. Keep everything else nice and soft. It's just the abs doing the work here. Right in that T-zone. You can reset for as long as you want in between moves. It's really about getting that quality of movement when we're trying to rebuild our core. Nice and steady. We are almost there now. Okay. And you're just gonna rest both your legs down. Now I want you to straighten your right leg <coughs> sorry, up into the air and then you're going to rotate it so that you're looking at the inside of your knee and then with an exhale you're going to start to pull the foot down and then inhale circle out and around to your starting spot. So you really need to ground through the opposite heel here 
keep this T-zone super tight and that's what allows you to make a nice silky movement. That's what we're aiming for, the quality of movement. Blown away here. Yeah. Right, exhale as we come down. Inhale, come back up. Make sure you're still rotated through the leg. Find as much length as you can all the way up to the toe. So exhale as the leg comes down. Rounding through that opposite heel. Inhale, out and around. Only make the movement. Um, as big as you can with the T-zone still on. So remember you can always get your fingers back inside those hips and just make sure, yep, I can still feel the tension or no, I've let it go. And if you've let it go, just take a second to rest and reset. No stress. Exhale down. Inhale. Out and around. Should be feeling a little bit of fire now. Keep drawing the thigh bone back into the hip socket. Almost there. Last one. Back around to the top. And you're gonna bend that leg back down to the ground. And we wanna straighten the opposite leg now and rotate. So I'm looking at the inside of my knee and thigh. <coughs> Toe is pointed. I am putting pressure down through that heel. We exhale, start to bring that toe down. Inhale, it's coming out and around. Little half semicircle. Half semicircle? Just a semicircle. <laughs> In and around. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, really drive through that opposite heel. And feel how that helps you to activate your T-zone. Exhaling down. Inhale, come back up. Just do a quick body scan, chin tuck, shoulders down and back. My ribs are posing down towards the hips as I exhale. Inhaling, tightening through the T-zone using the strength that that T-zone creates to pull the leg back up and around in a nice quality movement. Inhale, back up and around. Exhale, down. Inhale, circling out and around. Beautiful work here. You always rest down. If you feel like you're starting to lose the quality of movement, just take a break. No point in performing these movements without the quality. Better to take a rest. Last few seconds here. Almost there. And rest that knee back down as well. So we're kind of going to go back to the first exercise and advance it now. So we're doing a lift and extend. So I'm gonna drive through my left heel and then I'm picking my right knee up and I'm gonna extend the leg out nice and long. And then I'm gonna pull the knee back in and down. Switching sides. So driving through my right heel now, I'm picking my left knee up, I'm extending out long. Left knee is coming back in bent and back down. Right, keep flowing, switching from side to side. As you extend, exhaling, really think about the rib to hip connection. Do not let your spine start to arch. And if you are feeling that arch, just go back to doing the lift foot, okay, without the extension. Okay, you build the core, no point stressing it out before you're ready to take that. Back down. Quick T-zone check. Fingers on the inside of those hips. Is it turned on? What's going on with my spine? Is it starting to arch when I get to a certain point? If so, pull it back a little bit. Nice, right. This is our last exercise as well. 
small burst of exercise. We are going to rebuild that core. Daily practice, 10 minutes a day. Barely even break a sweat, right? <laughs> Last couple now. See if you can extend that leg out a little bit lower. Bring the knee in and back down. And we are done. So roll over to the side and push yourself back up that way. I hope that you've enjoyed our short 10 minute session there. Uh, plenty more to come. Let me know how you got on. Thanks for watching.